Okay, so I'm back with another makeup video for you guys. Hello, hi. It is the look that I'm wearing right now. We have this like peachy monochrome smoked out winginess kind of moment. I don't really know how else to explain this. I wanted to do something that was still really glam because I wanted to play with makeup, um, but I also wanted to do something like wearable at the same time, you know, something that you could totally rock wherever, whenever. This video, you guys, is a really special one because I'm not actually doing it by myself. It is a cheeky little collaboration. To shout out to you, Cult Beauty. Thank you so much for wanting to do this with me. I'm buzzing. The tits off. There's a few things to tell you guys, but this video for me is kind of like my Cult Beauty like shopping list. Like if I was going to recommend any products to you guys, it would be these. But they are also part of a little something special that's going on at the moment. Cult Beauty are actually celebrating their 11th year of basically being in the industry, which is so crazy to me because I remember like when I was a bobber and I was buying things from them. The growth has come quick. Like, where have the years gone? I'm like old now. <laughs> so to basically kind of like celebrate this, Cole are doing this thing called the hashtag Cole community, which is you guys, like they're consumers. At the end of the day, you guys are the ones who support and you know, like inspire and kind of like motivate cult beauty to be who they are, if you know what I mean? Keeping it real, they're like the ultimate place for like beauty. You know what I mean? They stock some cool ass brands. So basically using all of that. They want to give back to you guys and they also want to give you guys a chance to just like get involved. Me and Colt are going to be doing some stuff over on my Instagram for the Colt community. You guys, you have to get involved. I'm pretty sure we're giving away some 500 pound like vouchers. Imagine all the stuff you can get with 500 pounds. Like, yeah, a little, little shopping spree. Yes, please. It's some little cute questions and stuff to answer. So that's going to be cool. And also there is something called the Hall of Fame voting, which is something on the Cult Beauty website that you can get involved with. This look I actually created with some of the Hall of Fame products. It's basically like a little vote. So it's like between X, Y, and Z, you pick like your fave product out of them. I Hall of Famed my face pretty much. And I picked my favorite products and guys, We've only gone and got you guys a cheeky little discount code, okay? It's 15% off. I'll leave it on screen. It's CB Jordan, all in caps. You can use it if you spend £20 or more, which, guys, if you're interested in some of these products in this video, my Hall of Fame face, perfect time to get it. Save them coins, man. I took this collab, guys, because not only is, like, my love for cult beauty, like, she's strong, okay? But because it's interactive for you guys as well and stuff that you can get involved with, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah, that is everything I have to say. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you want to see how I did this look here, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm off. Do I do skin first or should I do eyes? Let's just do skin because I love that. Time to prime. Guys, this, this little gem here. This was sent from Jesus himself. Now I'm sure you've heard about it because honestly so many of us like beauty people have been like raving about it and going a little bit crazy and like getting like hard over it. <laughs> but this is the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip Primer. I have just been obsessed with this. I just take a couple of pumps of it in my hands and then I just kind of evenly distribute it on my face. Properties of this primer, okay? Not only is it really hydrating and kind of cooling because it's the gel consistency, it feels really good on the skin, but it like pretty much like does what it says on the tin. You feel me? As soon as this is on, this is gonna go tacky and feel really like grippy, which is perfect for a primer because it means that your foundation will grip to it. Hopefully meaning that it lasts longer, right? I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but my fingers are legit sticking to my skin. Pretty much, this is one of the kind of rare primers, I'd say, that I can genuinely see it like making a difference to my makeup, you know? Keeping it real, sometimes I put a primer on and I'm like, sis, are we like, playing me like what are, what are you doing but yeah this is like a little gem Ding. found diddly dacia now boys and girls i you know like when you show up a little bit late to like a party and it's like fashion relay and it's cool and it's fine um uh, yeah i'm not like this with this foundation okay um i am more than late that the party is already finished but here i am like trying to like do my thing, you know? This was hyped over. I have only recently tried it. <laughs> recently within the past like week, but I have really been enjoying it. It's the Huda Beauty Faux Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. Color wise, I go between Trey Leches, I think that's how you say it, and Baklava. Usual procedure, you guys. I'm gonna bounce this onto my skin with my beauty blender. And I mean, you can see the coverage like instantly. She's, she's there. Like, hi, hello, how are you doing today? If you love a full coverage foundation, I feel like you might fall in love, you know? 
So prepare yourself. I honestly love everything about it. I love the way it looks on the skin, like the finish of it. It does end up with more of that satin matte finish, but I do like that. I'm an oily mess, so it works. I'm also really into the lasting power as well. I feel like it holds up really nicely. She's definitely more on the thicker sides. Thick. Three C's. Mm, no, maybe two. <laughs> She's a two -er. Obviously where you know it is, did I just look like a toe then? I was like, <laughs> where it is so full coverage. It's not one of those foundations that like, oh, this is my skin. This is like, it's an armor and foundation, but I'm looking B. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I like it. I really, really do. Honestly, Huda, Huda, like my besties. Huda, babe, she killed it. Time to get rid of these bags. Because they're not Gucci and we don't want them. I have just realized that apparently we're going for the last coverage today. I mean, y'all know I'm like an all or nothing girl, so it's chill with me. But yeah, <laughs> this is going to be, she's going to be, a concealer that I genuinely think is so worth spending a little more on is by Cover Effects. This is their Power Play Concealer. I go between G Light 1 and G Light 2. I'm going to use two today. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I love the applicator on this. It's like a little circle, so I just dot it underneath my eyes. And I'm also going to highlight a little bit as well. Take my sponge and let's blend her out. I feel like you honestly don't need like a shit ton of this concealer because it honestly is so full coverage. You're not gonna use the product up hella quick, especially if you're playing a little bit more. It's like, listen, I need you to last and not run out in 0 0.3, 4, 9, 8, 12 seconds. Considering its coverage, I still think it looks real good on the skin. Like we don't look like a cakey hot, gross ass mess up in here, you know? Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> I sound like a dad. Cover Fix Power Play. You done me good. Powder. Now, honestly, maybe I've been living under a rock. I do that sometimes. I just like crawl under it for a little while and then it's fine. But I've not really heard anybody speak about this. That could be because I'm UK based though. And Cult Beauty have started stocking milk makeup, which is sick. Um, but yeah, I just like, where have you been? This is the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting powder. Mine's in translucent medium so this powder does have some colour to it so I'm only going to set my like face with it and I'll use something else for underneath my eyes. I don't know whether you guys can tell because I've got quite a matte base anyway but it's just mattifying it more. I also really love the packaging as well because it's mess free. It's a loose powder but it has like a mesh lining here and you can just like get the powder out with that as opposed to like do you know what as well like I low-key agree with like the blurring part of this powder I feel like it's setting everything <laughs> but without looking dry or chalky because listen I I have to set because I don't want to look greasy but at the same time I don't want to look like my skin's made like of pastry you know this ain't Greg's bakery bitches okay even though their sausage rolls are good wow well, so <sighs> hmm Mm. Just really enjoy this setting powder, you know. It's a good one. Let's add some colour to his little egg. His little hard boiled egg. Another recent discovery is by ABH. This is the ABH powder bronzer. Mine is in the colour saddle. On the warmer side for sure, but it's not orangey or anything. It's like that in between. I'm just going to use this to bronze the skin in all the usual places. So cheeks, forehead, jawline, that kind of thing. Me attempting to get rid of this double chin. And if you say what double chin guys, that, that one. I really do love the formula of these bronzers though. To me, they're like the perfect amount of pigment. They're not the kind that you have to like do this to get anything out. And you're like, hello, are you there? Are we in? But there's just enough there to give you that like perfect, like bronzy sun-kissedness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, really been enjoying this. Blush, oh, I love this, okay. And it's just one of those ones that you just can't go wrong with. The Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. Yeah, yeah, it speaks for itself. Just gonna pop this on my cheeks. It's that beautiful kind of darker peach color which complements so many skin tones and it also goes with a lot of makeup looks. And also, I don't know whether you can see, but it actually has glow in it which I've been obsessed with blushes like that. I'm sure you guys know this if you watch my other makeup looks. The glow also helps to like blend my highlighter into my skin a little bit more because I hold my hands up, I put a lot of highlighter on, okay? I'm sorry. 
which speaking of highlighter this is an oldie but a goodie but i'm sure you all know what this is this is like an og in the makeup like world this is the becca shimmer and skin perfector in moonstone it's a beautiful kind of light gold champagne color which is literally everything i look for in a highlighter and on the skin wow this is beautiful beautiful do you know what i also really love about this highlighter i genuinely feel like it just like seamlessly blends into the skin do you know what I mean? Like you can't see where it starts or finishes. It's just like a, I'm looking wet. I'm also just gonna hit above my brows as well. I always put highlighter here. I feel like it just makes me look even glowier. And then you guys know I've been obsessed with highlighting this way. Smaller brush, dip in, just pop her right here. That way when you look forward, you've got the glow. Lean it to the side, you've got the glow. The glow's just in all areas. You can't miss her. Honestly though, the combination of that blush and that highlight together genuinely makes my skin look wet. Everything just looks really glowy and like seamless and I'm just obsessed. Eyes now, ugh, guys, I am so, so excited because this palette is beautiful and I've never used it before on my channel. In fact, I don't think I've ever used an ABH palette on my... As you know, that's a lie. I use Subculture, but I think that's kind of been it. Genuinely think though the ABH palettes are some of the best and the fact that Colby you have it as well is sick. So if I was going to recommend you guys to get a palette from them, ABH for sure. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. The colours inside this are gorgeous, okay? So wearable, so pretty and I feel like you can do so much with this and I feel like you'll get so much use out of it because it's colours that a lot of people would wear all the time. Do you know what I mean? Your pennies are going somewhere good, okay? ABH eyeshadows, by the way, they're like no joke. Like, if you want pigment, okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna start with this color here called orange. <laughs> what just come on? Orange, orange, orange soda. And this is gonna be my kind of transition shade just to start everything off. I love that color. It's like a peachy, peachy orange. I'm popping her in the crease and then just kind of like buffing it out to my brow. I just kind of want this color to be super blown out. Now I'm going to dip into Sienna, which is this kind of burnt orangey brow. I'm deceased. I'm dead. I'm six feet under. Like what? Uh... Hello? Hi. Nice to meet you. My name's Jordan. I'm just basically using this color to deepen everything up just to add that kind of depth. You know what I'm saying? I want to make kind of like a smoky liner type situation. So I'm going to dip into Cypress Umber. And I'm just going to pack this kind of on the outer corner. Start to bring it in like halfway of the lash line. And then I'm just going to blend that out. A smoker. Let's go smoky-ish. Ish. Smoky-ish. Just, just a little bit. I'm also just going to bring that color up into the outer corner a little bit. And then blend. Just taking some of that Cover FX concealer, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a cut crease just so I can get a really solid color when I put something on top. But as I'm doing it, can you see I'm missing the smoky liner? So I'm literally keeping it like up here. And then I'm basically just gonna fade out the edges with whatever's left on the brush. I have no idea if that makes sense. It probably doesn't because I'm poorly explaining things, but now 10. Tempera? Tempera? Tem... Tem... Something. This is just gonna set this concealer in place. Then, orange soda. We're gonna pop her on the lid. Guys, do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. Is that okay? We hope so. <laughs> I love... What's in my meal today? <laughs> to be honest with you, now it's literally just a case of going back between Sienna and Cypress Umber just to kind of blend that into that orange soda crease shade just so everything blends seamlessly. So I just like dab in a little, apply, you know, blend it out and get it as smoked out as I can. And then the very last thing, the finishing touch, I'm going to take Noir, which is the black. And just dab it right on this lash line. Just add even more depth. Cool! Before we stick on some lashes, we're gonna pop on some mascara. Mine has been used and abused so much that like the writing has legit come off of it. Milk makeup again, guys. If you haven't tried milk makeup, get your ass on cold beauty. That's what I'm saying. 
so upset. The Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Now, first of all, this was bougie as hell because this packaging is hella heavy. Let's just go ahead and pop a quick coat of this on. This mascara, okay, is so lengthening. I don't know if you guys can see that already, but holy moly, like it does it instantly. This mascara, don't get me wrong, I love my drugstore ones. However, this is so quick to apply and you see like instant results. I feel like if you're a mascara junkie, you're gonna be obsessed with this. Right, you guys, I'm gonna run off camera, stick on some lashes real quick, do the other eye, and then we'll be back and we can complete this look. I'm back. I feel like I low-key could fly away with these lashes. <laughs> I'm back and my eyes are done. The only thing that I did do extra is I took some of the, uh, Power Play Concealer. And with the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner, the yellow one, I just kind of took it out and took off any excess and dipped it in the concealer. And I just kind of like carved out that crease. I will insert a clip of me doing it because I did film it just to show you guys. I mixed in the concealer with it just so it was more of like a peachy yellow as opposed to like bright yellow. Definitely it's not the neatest thing in the world and definitely not my finest work, but hey. It's fine. These lashes, by the way, because they are huge, but I'm kind of living for them. Like, I kind of love the shape of them. You can actually pick these up on Cult Beauty because these are the Morphe So Glamorous Lashes. I love how fluffy they are on the outer corner. I feel like it really complements the, like, winged kind of effect we've got with the eyes. To finish this entire look off, we need a little colour on our lips. And I feel like I really want to do, like, a peachy nude. I feel like it will go well. Let's give it a go. The first product I'm gonna use is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. This is in Iconic Nude. Just gonna align my lips. This is like a brownie nude and I feel like it'd be a good kind of like base to start. You guys know I love me a brown nude and this lip liner color is gorge. I'm also just gonna fill my lips in as well. These lip cheats are so creamy. They feel super comfortable, you know? And then just dab a little bit of concealer in the middle just to kind of nude everything out a little more give her that kind of peachier vibe. I want this to be a teeny, teeny, teeny bit more peacher, just in the middle. So to kind of like monochrome everything up, Soft Glam ABH, we're actually gonna take the orange soda just on, just on a little baby brush. Go in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I needed. That's what I've been looking for. Oh, one last thing. One last thing while I've got ABH right here. With a teeny bit of Cypress Umber, I'm just gonna make my little faux kind of like freckly thing here. And that is this look complete. Guys, this is the completed look. What do we think? Genuinely obsessed with these products. Like I said, this is my cult beauty shopping list, the must-haves. If you're going on the website, please check these out and don't forget to use my code as well. But please check them out because they're so sick. This is also all new products that I've never shown on my channel as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love being able to share new products with you guys because, listen, we can have some cute faces together. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe before you go notification bell, all that good stuff. I'm gonna head off now. So guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you all very soon with a brand new video. I love you.